So I am starting a new painting. It is a commission for somebody and it is sort of a reimagining of Our Lady of Perpetual Help, which is in very much like the Byzantine icon style, but I will be doing it in more of my own realistic style. So as of now, I have um, the reference photos from uh, this girl named Fallon, and then my nephew, I got him to pose with my sister-in-law as um, Jesus. So I kind of mushed them together to create the composition, and now I have transferred it to the panel, which then I will uh, start painting. So let's go. So we're definitely in the ugly stage of the painting. Um, I feel like that's kind of a normal stage to be in, but it sucks because it's just like, makes you think that, oh, I'm not a very good painter. This isn't turning out very well, um, but I just need to keep going and, and, and working it. It's really just like the basic colors are all down. I just need to start carving out the features a little bit more adjusting the colors, those kinds of things. So hoping that today will be productive and help me start to see the, the final product. I feel like a lot of people will tell you to save the highlights to the very end of the painting, which I completely understand because it's kind of like a finishing touches kind of a thing. But for me, I just like always love putting the highlights in just a little bit early um, because it makes me feel like the whole painting just kind of comes alive. Um, as soon as I put like a little highlight in the eye or like around the corner of the mouth or the nose, especially the nose, I just feel like the whole painting just feels more alive. And so then that, it makes me just like honestly feel better moving forward with the painting um, and just kind of seeing like the places that are too dark or, um, you know, maybe need a little bit more attention maybe need to be blurred out a little bit more because the highlights are really kind of focusing in on like where I want the eye to go. So um, I really feel like I'm at a place right now where Mary is starting to come alive. Um, and it's just another thing of like, trust the process. You get through the ugly stage, 
until you can put in the highlights and things start to feel more alive. So I'm really excited about the way that things are turning out. So stay tuned.
So the next part of what I have to do now is like all the golden stars and lines um, and like the more graphic elements on the clothing, which I am just like honestly terrified to do. Um, especially in this like more realistic style, it just doesn't, like patterns on clothing always freaks me out because it's a pattern, so it's gotta be kind of uniform, but then it also has to go alongside the, the folds of the fabric. I guess because the original icon is very graphic, and so the golden lines add to the form of the fabric. Um, and my fabric already has form, but I gotta do it because it is such a beautiful part of the image is like this gold um, on top of everything. So I definitely wanna include it um, but yeah, I'm just scared to do it. So here goes nothing. And then I might be done. It's so hard for me to say when I'm done. I'm like, never done. It's never done. <laughs> it's 
so it's finally finished and if I do say so myself this is like my finest work of art um, I think enjoy mm -hmm.